day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. I got a, I got one here for you, and this is all I'm trying to say. Okay. It's in Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Let me get to it for you. Oh, let, me write, let me bring it up for everybody. Matthew, which one? Uh, 7, 13 through 14. But so what chapter? Math, uh, Matthew 7. 7, okay. What verse? 13 through 14. 13 through 14. Okay, let me bring it up here everybody can see it too. Go ahead, sir. Well, you know, I got the New Living Translation, but it says, you can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad, and its gate is wide for many who choose to, who choose that way. Choose it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the gateway to life is very narrow, and the road <laughs> is difficult, and only a few, capitalized few, will ever find it. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and that and that, that makes sense of what what the scripture said. You can't find it without Christ. That's why he said it. That's why he said it. That's why he said it. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. You yes. ain't gonna find it on your own. You're well, not gonna I, find I, it. We Christ. Christ. That's why I said. That's why it's so narrow. Because the the choice. It's only through Christ. That's the fact. Me falling in line of one body, not the rest of the world. I can't hey. get there any other way. I only can get through this narrow passage that's been open to you and me it's through Jesus Christ. That's what he's trying to say. You're not going to find it on your own. Then, then he says, I am the way. That's I am the way. Now, I am the now way. There, there's something that kind of, kind of, I don't know why I wouldn't, but 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 uh, there was something. David killed Uriah the Hittite. I had him murdered anyway. He did. But did he have a fellowship with the father after that situation? Right. Yes, he did. Yes. But did that situation have repercussions on his life for the rest of his earthly life? Wait, yes, it did. You can get a high so there are some things that we have done in our lives that are going to affect us. We're going to have repercussions from it. From the point that we committed it up to the point that we leave the planet, most probably that happens. But right. does it hinder or stop our fellowship with the Father? And the answer to that is no. no. It, just, it does not have to be a stop point. It's it like be. It, yeah. it shouldn't be a place where you, if you can repent of your sin, regardless of what that sin is, people murder folk and are forgiven by both the state and the Lord, and they live long, happy. I can't say happy lives, but they live long lives in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. The, 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 the deal with all of it was the law was supposed to help us stay in the presence of God if we kept it, if we were able to keep it. Right. Christ Jesus having no issue in that area is able to keep us in the presence of God regardless of what we do or what we have done. Yeah. So, I think the ultimate is that we stay in the presence of God. Why? First off, you know, we don't want to leave this earth without being in his presence. And second off, as long as we're in his presence while we're on the earth, we can represent him better. So you are the light of the world. So God has called us to represent him. We are the ones that people look to to see the godly image now. Yeah. So as much as we abide in Christ, even through tragedies or even through repercussions of sin, the more we stay in his presence, the more people see that. Yeah. relationship and the more hopefully that it caused them to aspire to the same eternal life yes uh, so we have a mission 
and we have a means to accomplish it, is sin going to take a toll on us? Oh, come on. Yeah, it does. It takes a toll on you, but does it have to take a toll on the relationship? Nope. My sin has strengthened my relationship with my father. I mean, I'll be honest with you, stuff I've done to myself drew me closer to Christ. It's like, man, I can't live in here by myself. Come on, man. I, I, <laughs> I can't and make I, it. I can't make it. I can't make it. <laughs> and, I, and I like even the same chapter. Uh, he, he was really breaking it down to us uh, in Matthew 21. Uh, I mean, 7, verse 21. In that same chapter he was reading, it says, Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he that does it the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in that name? In that name, cast out devils, and that and have done many wonderful works. Jesus <laughs> said, I profess unto you. I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work in that Thank you, Lord. Because Thank I you, never Jesus. knew you. Because the only way I know the way is to know him. The only way I can find a straight gate is to know him. I'm not going to find that gate on my own. This, this is another one, verse 24. Therefore, whosoever, and this is why I think you trying, this is how you're saying it anyway, to me, uh, for them. Therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken to him a wise man that builds his house upon a rock. The rain descended, the flood came, and the wind blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, right? For it was founded where? It was founded on Jesus Christ, right? It was said, found in a rock. It was, it was, it fell not, but it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that hearing these sayings of mine and doeth them shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand and the rain which is the issues of life the flood came with all the type of things that we deal with the wind blew and beat upon that house and what it fell what, what, great with the fall thereof and great with the fall thereof because we're not if we sit there and don't dwell in him if we sit there and don't go the narrow path of him because through him i have righteousness through him i can get to the father that is a very is that a narrow way brother addison that, that that's is that wide or that narrow yes that's right can i say that? go ahead sir he is our righteousness he yeah. is our way he is that's why that's the issue that's why i think we we fail <laughs> I can't get there. I can't get no righteousness without him. <laughs> yeah, it, it's him. It's just him. It's like, it's like, it's not what he's doing or what he did. It's not. A, it's not his. His method. It's him. It's him. It's not. It's, what it, it, it's him. It, 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 it's the man himself. It's like when you walk to the door of Jesus, you can have on the worst clothes you ever wore in your life. They're gonna let you in. Right. But if you like, you know, hit your step and you know, pop up in there like it with a cane, you still ain't getting in. You came in looking like him in your behavior, but you ain't with him. No. The only way you get in is if you with him. Exactly. Period. Period. And, and, that's why. That's why I think that's so important. What he said, the straight gate was talking about, is that you talking about yourself. You, if you're trying to find it your way, you ain't gonna get there. It'll be a straight line. Everybody lined up behind you. Y'all come on over. That's that's the narrow path. That hey, look, that is yeah. The, that is the only path. <laughs> yep, that's it. Hey, look, hey, here's a better way I can. <laughs> I think Brother Asin probably can help me out better, but if 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 if, if I go by this scripture here, it said, enter in at the straight gate. Where's that gate? It's Jesus. Now, who doesn't who 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 listens to this video? <laughs> who's in this vibe? Who's in this uh study? does not know that the straight gate is Jesus. Because the one, he said, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and many there be which go there in it. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which is life, and few 
Look. Ah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, I'm trying to tell you, hey, look. Hey, y'all, hey, hey, look. Lord. The good Thank news you, is, Brother Alzi, check around. You correct me. You check. The good news is, you ain't got to sign it. I'll tell yes. you what. You, you ain't got to look for it. <laughs> I'm telling you where it's at. <laughs> Did somebody tell me, correct me or wrong? Who, who does not know where is that? Mm. Does anybody uh, uh, help me? Help me out. I, I, you probably do better than me. Tell me. Yeah. You tell me. You tell me. What? Mm. Does that make sense, Brother Bell? I'm sorry. I didn't hear y'all. I was doing something. Okay. Does that make sense? I'm saying is that the scripture you gave, right? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Verse 14, because straight is the gate and the narrow is the way that leads to life, and few there be to find it. What I'm saying is, you, me, anybody listening on this Facebook and the YouTube, we don't have to find it. It's already pointed. That's how the, that's why we're preaching the gospel. You don't have to look for it. It's right there. It's right there. That is what I'm trying to say. If you stay in Christ, follow Jesus, not people, because people, people lead you to destruction, people lead you to the wide, broad way, we don't have to find Jesus. Jesus came already for anybody to go to him. That's why he said in that same, those same books that said is, hear me, you must be born again, and you must follow me. Hallelujah. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And he even said, he said in that same scripture there, that Thank same you, Lord. you and I was reading. Thank you, Lord. He said, what's the wise man? Then? But I have to read that for us, please. Read it. The uh, 24 and 27. Therefore, whosoever heareth these things of mine and doeth them, uh -huh. I will liken him unto a wise man who uh -huh. built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Everyone that hears these sayings of mine, and hears them now, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon the house. And it fell, and great was the fall of it. Yes, sir. Because the bottom line is, that's the why he said the narrow gate is Jesus Christ. And even the people was astonished when he read it. They look at it saying, and it came to pass when Jesus ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as what? One having authority. Yeah. And not as a scribe. I'm saying is, I, you don't have to find the way. He has already pointed us to the way. His way is Jesus Christ. If I stay on that foundation, Yes, I'm gonna have some, that those wind and flood means the issues of life. I'm gonna have issues. I'm gonna have storms. I'm gonna have waves. I'm gonna have floods. I'm gonna have all kinds of things, meaning sin. These things gonna come in my life, but if I'm founded, anybody listen for the words in my mouth. If I'm founded and stay on the rock, I can't get off the rock. Isn't that what he's trying to say, Brother Addison? I can't get off the rock. I can't get off the rock, but if I stay on the rock, if I walk through the gate, which is Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna fall. That's all, that's the, that's the gospel. That's the good news.